videos. And now it's time for Xbox Game Pass additions and subtractions. We're going to start with Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC available today. From Xbox Game Studios, available with Xbox Game Pass, PC, or Ultimate on day one. From light planes to wide body jets, fly highly detailed and accurate aircraft in the next generation of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Test your piloting skills against the challenges of real-time atmospheric simulation and live weather in a dynamic and living world. The world is at your fingertips. Microsoft Flight Simulator, available today. I will say that I jumped into this and flew around Tokyo. <laughs> And landed barely almost took back off almost swerved but I did it the beautiful game if you have the PC that can handle it and you're a flight sim uh, enthusiast definitely check it out but for me 151 gigabyte install is just too much when I have other things I need to play but if you're in the flight sims definitely check this out if you have game pass I mean it's included um, and then also Spirit Fair is also available on Xbox Game Pass for console and PC also. I've um, already talked about that earlier in the show, so I'm not going to talk about it again. Um, and then Battletoads is available for console and PC today um, from Xbox Game Pass Studios. We've already talked about this at the top of the show. Um, I, like I said, I've played this over on youtube.com slash morepix and I think the game is actually fun and I think it's funny. I think the combat is challenging um, and there are people who are trying to take some shots at, oh, look at Battletoads. Battle, that's what Xbox has. Xbox has so much more Battletoads. But it's nice to have a variety of different types of games. And um, Check it out for yourself. Don't let other people sway you, especially if you have Game Pass. You have nothing to lose. Try it out. I really like the game, honestly. And then we're going to go on to Crossing Souls, available on PC today. In 1986, in California, a group of friends will live the summer of their lives after a mysterious discovery in the woods outside their quiet town. Uh, by uncovering an artifact whose power they don't fully understand, these remarkable kids will defy the laws of nature and somehow interact between two planes of reality, life and death. Their curiosity will trigger a series of unexpected events that will get them involved in a government conspiracy and a mysterious U.S. Army general with his own nefarious plans. And it's so funny because I did not read this description before I seen the trailer. And I literally wrote down right under this, because I just copied and pasted this from um, Xbox Wire. And um, I literally wrote down underneath, reminds me of Stranger Things. And now that I'm reading the description, it's Stranger Things, basically. It's Stranger Things, the game, told by somebody else. That's what it is. I mean, just keep it funky. But I'm still going to check it out because it looks it looks nice. Good. Um, but yeah, Crossing Souls is available on PC now. Dark Shadows Genesis is available on PC. It's already available on console. It's available on PC now also. Uh, Dark Shadows Genesis is an action-adventure game that tears its way through hordes of demons, angels, and everything else in between on its way to hell and back with guns blazing and swords swinging. Genesis gives players their first look at the world of Darksiders before the events of the original game. Furthermore, it introduces the fourth and last horseman strike, as well as co-op gameplay for the first time in the history of the franchise. Darksiders Genesis is available on PC and console today. Um, yeah, I definitely want to check that out. There's, like, I, I started Darksiders 1, and it was an interesting game. It didn't catch me at the time, but Darksiders 3 looks great, and Darksiders Genesis looks great. Like, I'm going to have to jump back in and give this series another shot. Not that I was down on it, just, just got pushed to the side by the side. Um, but moving on to so Don't Starve Giant Edition, available on console and PC today. Don't Starve Giant Edition is an uncompromising wilderness survival game full of science and magic. You play as Wilson, an intrepid gentleman scientist who has been trapped by a demon and transported to a mysterious wilderness world. Wilson must learn to exploit his environment and its inhabitants if he ever hopes to escape and find his way back home. Don't Starve Giant Edition includes the original hit game Don't Starve and the Reign of Giants expansion, which adds new playable characters, seasonal bosses, weather conditions, new biomes, creatures, and more. Don't Starve Giant Edition is available on console and PC today. I remember watching Lord Minion 777 play this game and me and my wife were cracking up. So I'm going to jump in and give it a shot and see if I can do better than the old lady boy did. Um, but moving on to new Super Lucky Sale available on console and PC today. 
Join Lucky on his thrilling journey through the Book of Ages, a magical artifact that opens doors to amazing worlds. Meet new friends, explore exciting lands, and recover the missing pages from the evil sorcerer Jinx and his villainous family, the dreaded Kitty Letter. Uh, a complete reimagining of the original Super Lucky Sale with new content, an improved story, and major overhauls to the camera and player controls. New Super Lucky's Tale is the definitive Lucky experience and a love letter to classic 3D platformers. I jumped into the original Super Lucky Sale when it first came out, and it was a lighthearted platformer. It was good. It reminded me of back in the day playing Spyro and stuff. Um, but again, there's just so many games I put it down. But now that they've gone back and fixed some things, maybe I'll give it a shot again. You know, once I'm done with Wasteland and Tell Me Why and Madden and Battletoads and Cyberpunk and Mafia and uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I got a problem. Um, but moving on to Hypnospace Outlaw, available on console and PC on August 27th. Hypnospace Outlaw is a 90s internet simulator in which you scour Hypnospace's wide variety of weird and wonderful websites to hunt down wrongdoers while also keeping an eye on your inbox, avoiding viruses and adware, and downloading a plethora of apps that may or may not be useful. In your spare time, you can customize your uh, hypnos, it's like H-Y-P-N-O-S, so your hip, your hip and operating system, basically, desktop, <laughs> however you see fit, with a variety of downloads, wallpaper, wallpapers, screensavers, and helper bots to keep you company. Hypnospace Outlaw is available on console and PC on August 27th. That sounds interesting. I didn't see any screenshots with that one, so I'll check and see. And if I found them, you'll see them. Um, and then Tell Me Why, Chapter 1, available on console and PC August 27th at 12 p.m. is $30 if you're not in Game Pass. Um, from Xbox Game Studios, available with Xbox Game Pass on day one. Tell Me Why is the latest narrative adventure game from Don't Not Entertainment, the studio behind the beloved franchise Life is Strange. In this intimate mystery, twins Tyler and Allison Ronan use their supernatural bond to, travel the, uh, to unravel the memories of their loving but troubled childhood in beautiful small town Alaska. Friends saw now, so you're ready to play the moment Chapter 1 is available. Tell me why Chapter 1 on console and PC, August 27th at 12 p.m. $30 for non-Game Pass subscribers. I will be doing a Let's Play of this, um, so look for episodes of that going up in about a week from now. Um, yeah, we're going to move on to Double Kick Heroes, console and PC, available August 28th. Double Kick Heroes mixes a shoot 'em up with a rhythm game. In story mode, you must survive on the highway to hell by killing monsters with your gun delay. Your gun delay. Uh, struggle through the 30 levels of total madness and escape from this nightmare. Only the power of metal can save your band. In arcade mode, uh, jump right into the action and play your favorite tracks from the game. Features double kick zombies in the face. Uh, double kick zombies in the face with insane metal music. Okay, that could have been written a little bit. Of a, uh, uh, double kick heroes is available on console and PC on August 28th. Um, then Wasteland 3 will be available on August 28th at 8 p.m. We talked about that, so I'm not going to jump back into that. Um, and then Crusader Kings 3 is available on PC September 1st. This grand strategy game puts you at the head of a noble house in a deeply researched medieval world. Use your armies, your diplomacy, and your wit to expand and elevate your dynasty. Each generation brings new characters and new challenges as pesky plotters, turbulent priests, and ungrateful children challenge your efforts to keep your realm and your family in line. Pre-install now so you're ready when September comes. Crusader Kings 3 is available on PC September 1st. I'm looking forward to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any type of let's play of this. If I do, it would probably be only like battles and conversations and things like that. Um, but I definitely will be playing this whether anyone else sees it or not. Um, I remember the first time I seen the trailer for this, and I think this is coming to console at some point too. Um, I remember the first time I seen the trailer for this, I was really, 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 really excited. So for the fact that it's coming to Game Pass, I'm super geek. But yeah, I will be definitely checking that out. <clears throat> and then last for our edition, excuse me, uh, is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard for console and PC on September 3rd. Menace and desperation seethe through the rotting walls of an abandoned southern farmhouse. 
Resident Evil 7 Biohazard marks a new beginning for survival horror with a shift to an immersive first-person perspective. Powered by the RE engine, graphics reach new heights of incredible photorealism to further draw players into the disturbing game world. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard will be available on console and PC September 3rd. I've watched Gone play this whole thing. This game is creepy. I'm probably not going to jump into it on my own at all. It has to be daytime with like 30 people around me after the pandemic for me to even think about playing it. Sorry. Some games like Man of Medan I could play. I played that. Did a whole play for beat, beat the game. I only lost one character. But I don't know. For the fact that I look at that as an RPG as opposed to this being an action game, I could do it. But <laughs> not for me. Um, but now it's time for the subtractions. Leaving August 31st, the Preacher in the Well is leaving console and PC. Gianna's Sister's Twisted Dreams, Director's Cut is leaving console. Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 HD is leaving console. Metro Last Light Redux is leaving console. The Jackbox Party Pack 3 is leaving console. On September 1st, NBA 2K20 is leaving console. And on September 7th, Red Dead Redemption 2 is leaving console. So if you want to finish any of those games, go ahead and do it before those dates. And then also you get a discount if you buy them while they're still in Game Pass. So if you're interested in buying any of those games, make sure you do that before the dates below. And also reminder, games with gold uh, available now is Portal Knights until August 31st on, on 31st. 31st on Xbox One. Uh, over at Mech City Brawl until September 15th on Xbox One, and Red Faction 2 until August 31st on Xbox One and Xbox 360. And that is it for this segment. Ooh, it was a long segment, but that's a lot of games coming to Game Pass, and you gotta love Game Pass. And now it's time for EA Play Edition. It's no longer EA Access, it is now EA Play. Um, and now you can play Madden NFL 21 through EA Play. A new generation is leaving its mark on the NFL. Will you rise to the occasion, change the game, and take control of your own legacy? Madden NFL 21 delivers new features and modes, including face of the franchise, rise to fame, rise to fame, and become um, immortalized in Madden NFL 21 as you transcend NFL history and shape your own path to greatness. Take control, master innovative running, uh, enhancements and live playbooks to run up the score in Man NFL 21. X Factor 2.0, new X Factor abilities fresh out the lab are designed to elevate the stars of a new generation in Man NFL 21. Um, and you can entitle Man 21 for Xbox Series X as long as you do it before the release of Man NFL 22 at no additional cost. Man NFL 21 will be available August 28th at 12 a.m. for the standard edition. Uh, standard edition is $54 for EA Play members. Um, uh, Madden NFL 21 Deluxe and MVP editions will be available August 25th for $72 and $90 respectively um, for EA Play members. Um, I think it's $80 for the Deluxe edition if you're not an EA Play member and $100 for the MVP if you're not an EA Play member. Um, the Xbox Series X upgrade comes free with all of those versions. Um, me personally, I don't play Ultimate Team and stuff like that, so I'm not going to pay to play early. I'll just play the trial and then I'll just play the rest on Friday. Like, I did spend, sucks to admit this, I spent like five hours doing my offensive play books and my defensive playbook. Um, I got a problem. I really get into Madden. I love it. And I know there's some backlash on Madden because of the lack of fixes to franchise mode, which is the main mode I do play. But at the same time, I'm not gonna not get Madden when it has gameplay improvements um, because of the franchise. Now they did address it and say they're gonna fix the franchise mode and hopefully they do and they do it in a substantial way because there are a couple things that I personally want in franchise. But at the same time, they up the gameplay, they tweak the graphics, you get the Xbox Series X version of this for free at no extra cost. They added the yard, which I'm not really excited about, but I'll check it out and see what it is. In face of the franchise, I probably will jump into, and maybe I'll give Ultimate Team a second shot. But I don't want to. I'm not trying to be a mad apologist, but I understand why people are upset. But me personally, I'm still gonna play it. Like, and half of the people, most of the people who are complaining, are still gonna buy it and play it too. They're just not gonna say they are. But let's be real. Um, but that is it for EA Play Edition.